So, you served when Aaron Eckhart was elected president. Then you're serving now when Andy Garcia has been elected president. And I read that you're doing another action movie with a Russian president, a Hunter Killer. Yeah, well, and there's an American president in, in that too, yeah. Um, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, yes, I'm playing a, 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 an American uh, sub, uh, submarine commander. Um, so what's between I, you and presidents? Well, they're, listen, this is a, 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 a big disaster movie about mm. the environment. One is my franchise um, that has fallen. And the other one is a standoff underwater between the US and, and Russians. They're very different movies, but the second you elevate a movie to a governmental level and you're playing an American, it's kind of hard to avoid the US president being involved. If you're talking about world stakes, um, nowadays we, we might want to leave the US president out of things, but you kind of you can't. Can. <laughs> this president would be like, yeah, no, come on, let's go. More action than the action hero. And uh, obviously these were all great actors and great performances as presidents, but what if you were to choose the next president to act with, the uh, next actor to portray a president, to act with, who would you want? I don't know, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> uh, because in actual fact, the next has fallen, I'm shooting Angel has fallen, which is much, it, it, it's not a city falling, it's more like the fugitive and um, there's an attack on the president's life and, and my character gets the blame for it, ends up being chased down by the bad guys and the good guys and trying to find out what's going on. And it's much more like Logan was to Wolverine as this is to mm -hmm. the other has fallen. But this president is now, who was the vice president before, Morgan mm -hmm. Freeman. So Morgan Freeman is going to be the president. So I'm not going to tell you somebody else. <laughs> That's my president. <laughs> okay. So uh, at the moment, uh, you're one of the very, very few A-list actors doing pure action cinema. It's something that doesn't exist that more. In the 80s, action heroes were very muscular. In the 90s, were, were very ironic. And I would like to know for you, what are you going for now for a, a true action hero of our time? Um, well, you always want that set. Yeah, listen, there has to be irony in there, I think, to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. You always have to have times where you, where you need that tongue-in-cheek element to what's going on and to be able to have a little wink and go, all right, we're all good, we're all good. You know, within the most disastrous moments that you can have a spark of humor. Um, but ultimately, it always comes down, I think, to the, the, the same thing, which were those, those traditional qualities of heroism, which are, you know, kind of courage, bravery, sacrifice, as you see in, in, in this movie, but with humor and, and, and mm -hmm. so an audience can mm -hmm. like, because you've got to be able, listen, if you can do that, and, and, and some truth and some emotion, I think, because really what I loved about this, we said it in 2019, so even though we're going to ridiculous extents in what we're saying to the audience, there is this sense of, of reality to it, just because of where we are right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that you could maybe believe that some sense of this would be, would be going on. So there's an emotion and a truth to that as well. But then you always got to say, but let's, let's have fun as well. What is your action hero, your favorite action hero, the one that you look for? Of my, uh, probably, I mean, I always thought Will Smith was, was great at that and, and, um, I love Will Smith because he just always, you know, so strong, but everything was so easy with him. And then Bruce Willis, you, you, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. But from an acting point of view, what do you admire in these two actors? Um, I think Will Smith is actually a phenomenally talented actor um, and, and can create something out of nothing. You know, there's just a real, there's a sense of ease about everything he does and, and, and yet he can bend into many different characters, but there's always this, this strength and this faithfulness. Like you could see that he's a guy that you would really rely on. You know, he could be your buddy. Whereas Bruce Willis is much more of that rebellious, kind of slightly dangerous. You got to, you know, keeps you on your toes. But the guy who would totally put himself out there, you know, and, and um, you could rely on him maybe not to be with you, but to head off somewhere else and do what has to be taken care of. <laughs> and have a lot of fun doing it. And you go, where'd Bruce go? Where we? Oh, he's off there. He's that, see that building? It just put Bruce's in there. He'll be fine though. He'll be fine.